Hi guys, it's just the 101 here. And I think that's just a German soldier. Wow. Yes, we are reviewing the Flans Planes mod. You can actually get it as a mod pack. And so, so yeah, let's get started into it. Uh, we're not going to do this one first because that's really special, that one. So we're going to go all the way over here. Start off, yeah. So, um, that's what we're going to be doing is the very, very simple bike plane. It's probably one of the first ones that we made. And yeah, it's a pretty simple design. I like it. And you just right click to get into it. And then you press R to bring out this menu here. And um, here you can um, repair when they're low enough. It's when they're 0%. The guns, you can't have guns because this one doesn't have guns. Fuel, uh, interesting fact, a long time ago it used to be coal for these types of ones. These types of types of planes have been for um, those ones that are far down there that used to have few, um, cans of fuel. Bombs, you can have bombs and sounds and not many. Cargo hold, this one has the largest cargo hold of any one, which is cool. And yeah, um, sorry about my uh, too many items there. It's I just installed it. Yeah, and um, here is the Fokker DR1. It's a German, the German triplane. Interesting fact about the triplane. Um, just slightly off topic, the Germans actually copied the design from the English. It was a stop with camel. They used to call it a stop with in Germany. And then I found it with a shot with camel. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty cool design. Um I remember watching a video a few years ago and really wanted this mod. I really want to fly in a plane. And yeah, it took me about another year to figure out how to get it. And still it was very buggy. But now it's all good, it's all fixed and all that sort of stuff. And um here's the stop with camel. And also, yes, this has machine guns and they do work. And I'll show you. You just press B. Just that little detail. Yeah. Um. This is the bike. This is the stop. Stop with camel. It's basically um a uh, an armed version of the biplane, essentially. And it don't think with a car. Oh, with a small car to hold. And here's a two seater biplane, which which is um used to be one of my favorites. This one also has a pretty big cargo hold. This one is unarmed. If it was armed I'd be surprised. Yeah, and here you have the Spitfire, a very well known plane used in World War Two. Most of the planes that they're that are in here are World War One, World War Two. Yeah, so just look at that. Pretty, it's a pretty awesome design. I love it. And um, press B to fire. But I didn't put any ammo in it. What you want to do is you actually have to do this first. You have to. Oh, I did put ammo in. So why isn't it firing? For some reason, normally it would fire. Maybe I put in different ammo. And explain that would explain it. That would explain things a lot. Yeah, you do need the right ammo for the right gun. Browning, yeah, I'll probably put in any ammo. It looks exactly the same, but it ain't. Now it should work. There we go. Yeah, so they fire from these guns here on the side, which is a nice little feature. Get out of that. And um, here we have a German plane. It's the BF 109. It's pretty cool. Did I arm it? Yeah, it has a lower fire rate. I think I've seen this one. I've seen one of these in a museum, and they all look awesome. Um, yeah, this one has the smallest bomb load of them all. This that this, um, this one here has four bomb load slots. This one it has three, and this one I think has four. Now, now moving on. The reason why I'm not showing you 
the uh, bombs themselves is because I'm reserving it for that guy over there. Yeah, so this is a P-51 Mustang. It's a really, it's one of my favorites. Because I remember watching an episode um, of Hogan's Heroes, if anyone's watched it. And yeah, he, they were trying to steal a P-51 Mustang. And then crash it. But but the guys at um, the place knew that they were going to steal it. So they, they let him. I don't know what happened. It was, a, it was a confusing episode. Completely off topic. Yeah, so I'm just trying to find the right ammo. Alright. And this one, I think it should have a higher fire rate. Nope. So the highest fire rate of them all is I think these, this one, and those ones over there. Oh no, it could be this one over here actually, or one over there. Over the planes, it's this one here. Yeah, so this is this is the largest plane of them all, and this does happen. Well, we might be see it does. Um, it's called the Lancaster bomber. And this one, I don't think it was entirely used in World War Two. It was, I think, it was also used in um, the Vietnam War, and uh, maybe even the Korean War. Uh, not too sure about that. But anyway, yeah, you get in the front seat because you, that's the only time you can press R. But you can't press R when you're in here or something, or down there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. So um, this is the um, driver's seat. And I'm actually gonna fly this one. This one's actually gonna be flown. So um, what do you wanna do? Well, I've already um put ammo in, which is not the right ammo. Again, <laughs> please excuse me while I do this. One, two, three. Uh, um, I keep on forgetting that this inventory is our the plane. All right. I'm gonna get some large bombs and some napalms. La napalms are bad, really bad. I mean, when used on ba on people, they're bad, but in this, they make a really big explosion. <laughs> I'm gonna get now. Nah, that's enough. Because when, if you're in creative, you have unlimited bombs. You don't have to worry about how many bombs you have. But just for just for Pete's sake, I'm going to go into survival. No, that's not it. There we go. So yeah, and I'm yeah I'm wearing a German uniform because um the uniform I was gonna wear was American, but it didn't look entirely American. So yeah, you just press uh, W to go forward. For some reason, it's not moving. I don't know why this stuff always happens. Probably it's because there's a sign down there. Let me get rid of that. There we go. There we go. Okay, now it works. After that small kerfuffle. So what you want to do is, um, after you've taken off, you might want to press L, and the landing gear will disappear. It's just customary. I do it all the time. And yeah, so let's try and drop some bombs on this thing. And I recommend when dropping bombs on people, you should press C and you control the plane with your mouse. It's really good. And try and release one bomb at a time it works. Damn it. Yeah. It drops a lot of items. But just for all sake, I'm going to make another one. And just a recommend recommendation to plan. Um try making a jet plane next time. Maybe the first jet plane ever made. That would be extremely interesting. I just yeah, I expected it to be going with jerky and stuff. And, um, what just happened?
And I keep on forgetting that this is uh, the old controls with shift. Damn it! The old controls with shift to go down and uh, space to go up. And yes, that's right, space to go up. Pull up, pull up, pull up. That was a pretty good, pretty good that one. Yeah. So we're just coming around. Yeah, I'm gonna try and land. Also, I think this is a good landing plane. Like you can land it pretty good with this. And the landings don't. Not real, really, not really realistic for some reason. Okay, um, actually, just for all sakes, I'm gonna give these uh, ones a go. I'm gonna do this one. Also, you just to tell you, you can lose wings and stuff like that, as I'll show you right now. I think you can. In the old version, you could um scrape across the thing, and it would actually um um tear up blocks. So yeah, you can actually take damage as yet yeah, left wing. Damn it. Yeah. This is um this mod would I highly recommend making it into a multiplayer server if you can, if it's not too buggy. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try the other one before I go onto the tanks. No, I didn't arm the tanks. Okay, uh, and just one thing, I'm gonna go to the trap plane because that's my favorite. They're basically they're all the same. Damn it! Also, I didn't mention this. Um, Z. And X roll left and right. Z is go to left, X is go right. And yeah, so on. Okay, let's get out of this thing. Yeah. Weird thing is that thing used to be powered by coal in the olden days. Even I think even these were powered by coal. In the in the mod, not in real life, not in real life, that would be crazy. So yeah, let's move on to the tanks. Yeah, so um, here we have the Panzer IV, which is pretty awesome. I th I'm not sure about this. It was a Panzer, but the, um, they were these were paraded in these were paraded for Hitler, um, in the Second World War for his 50th birthday or something. I don't know. And um, it doesn't matter how many. It doesn't matter what type of tank it is. I'm sorry, I went off topic. Might have confused you there. Um, yeah, they were paraded for his 50th birthday. Now on to shells. Um, you can um have any type. There, there's all the um all the sh shells are the exact same type. I'm just gonna try and blow that up. So you want to press B, I believe. Yep. And they will make an explosion. And it will take a little while to reload. There we go. I'm gonna die, villagers. You can blow up planes. I've done it before. I've done it before, but not now. And yes, this is a new feature. They can actually um, not a machine gun on here. And yeah, oh, this has the highest. This has the highest machine gun fire of them all. Well, that just might be the sound effects, but that's really fast. I think this one looks the best in the as an interior. You know, in the old version, you, you would have a head just poking out. That's all. Yeah, this one looks the best. And as always, W to go forward. This one's slower for some reason. And they're a little hard to mask by these things. No, I don't want that. Maybe on here. Or maybe just slightly. Yeah, they're just slightly faster. 
These are a pain sometimes. You get the, you have the thing doing that when you come out of it. So yeah, moving on. Um, we have here Willie's Jeep, which is a basic, which is a basic um transport vehicle. These things are much faster than the tanks, and they're really awesome. And even we even have um wheel motion, as you can see, when I steer. And yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. For some reason, when you ram into something like that, you uh, like, get out. Yeah, just trying to go to, trying to go back to where I was. Yeah, and yes, you, the machine gun is fully mounted. It's a brownie. That's not what we want, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna do something. Cool. For this one, I'm not gonna drive it around, I'm probably just gonna Yeah. It has an awesome machine gun fire. And for some reason it fires on the head, not from the actual gun. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's probably going to be um for multiplayer servers why it does that. Yeah, so we've had a lot of fun down here. Oh, that's right, I forgot to show you guys. Um, just before you go, I would like to show you this awesome thing, these awesome um, AA guns. That's German, it's American, or it might be, um, actually, it might be even English. Yeah, that's not what it does. <laughs> AA guns means anti-aircraft gun. Anti aircraft. That's what the AA stands for. Damn it. And you, that is taking damage. Well, it should be taking damage anyway. I'm just gonna check if it is. Core, yeah, it is, is taking them. Actually, let's just test if it is. So the core was seventy percent. Let's see. Yeah, let's see now. Right. Yep. You are definitely making damage. Um, dealing damage. That's pretty cool. Um, I recommend using this one because it's much better. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, this thing can do full 360 everything. This one's awesome. It even has a deflector shield that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, guys. So that's um the flans um planes part of this mod. There is um you have. As Olivia Blow showed you, um, you have the guns part, and you have uh, Nerf guns part, and you also have these new items. They're just mechas. And you also have all these, this all this stuff here. Hell, you even have a Nerf. I'm gonna put that on for you guys. Take these two. Green's left. Damn it. Green's left has a color. Take this German uniform off and get ready to play. Ta. I'm ready for battle. Here we go. And right, I'm up. Nerf style. <laughs> yeah, that was just a little add on I felt like doing. Yeah. yeah thanks, thank, um, thank you guys for watching. It's been a great pleasure. Um, uh, I know that LED Diablo has done most of this mod, but he, um, but he allowed me to do this part of the mod, so yeah, um, um, he doesn't own a channel, and he just, he was in charge of this mod. Um, the next, uh, next mod review we're probably going to do might be the train craft mod, or the rail craft mod, because I have that mod. And it's very awesome. So that's a little bit of a um, little bit of a sneak peek, sort of. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys.
bye